the solution you're trying to do is open a book and turn the page in 10 steps. The design team, you plan and think what you're gonna do on the construction, and then construction, you apply the stuff that you talked about in the design team. This is very exciting. The kids are just um, so involved. It's great when you can see them take what they're learning in the lecture section and then putting it into practice. We've got students from other classes who are like, when do we get to do this? So that's, that's what you like to hear. I just appreciate the fact that IDOT has helped out with this too, that they've given us two wonderful engineers and an opportunity to spread the word. I think that's fantastic. So for them and the construction team, we need to plan ahead for them because once you actually go and do it, it may not work the way that you thought of it, right? So that's why we're coming up with different options. If it hits a ball, how are we gonna channel it over to hit a stick? I, a border. A border, okay. A ram. Like bumpers. One of the things with the kids, their ingenuity, you know, sometimes you kind of give them some choices to look at, but a lot of times they come up with a lot of great ideas uh, that you may not even think of. We do know as an engineering profession that we do need engineers uh, in the short term and in the long term. What I found that keeps me going is when you have a fourth grader come up to you in the hallway say you're one of the engineers aren't you? You go yeah and then all of a sudden they go I can't wait till I get into fifth grade to do the rube. Uh, that's something that basically we know we're reaching the kids hopefully they're learning a little bit more about the math the sciences along with the engineering. It's just really fun and it gets your creative mind working you can pretty much do whatever you want with the Rube. The teamwork is great, and you get to learn a lot more about your friends, how they work with other people, how they act, and all types of different things about them that you wouldn't really get to know if you didn't have this experience. The device is actually made from stuff and junk the kids bring from home. That works out really nice because uh, it really keeps the cost of the program down. Plus, the kids end up with a pile of stuff and the engineer challenges them to figure out how are they going to take this stuff and make a, a bunch of simple machines that are going to interconnect with each other and set off a chain reaction that eventually ends up somehow doing the goal. It's done with an entire fifth grade class. In other words, it's not a pullout program, it's not for the high learners, it's really for the entire class. It helps you learn about the Newton's laws and kind of how it works. It's a fun way to learn on how it works. This comment made by uh, a kid here in this class, uh, he said that this is as much fun as playing video games. Time literally flies by. It's not fair. And that's just the most rewarding thing that it's actually fun to create something and be an engineer. You get to know your classmates better and your teacher. Um, and it's just fun and a learning experience. You always want to try and build a teamwork and you always want to kind of have that team spirit and to talk about it's one thing but to actually put it in action and then have the conflict and the resolution like okay now we have a problem how are we going to solve that to get them actually working through those problems it works wonders. They not only work hard on this for about eight weeks out of the year but then they take what they do and they get to compete against the other fifth grade classes in a, in a judged competition. They really get the wow factor there. This is their baby and when it goes off, the feeling in the room, the electricity, just the energy of the kids, you know that this is something that, that all of these young students will remember for a lifetime. The payoff to us is that hopefully we're planting the seed of engineering and watching it sprout right there before our eyes and that, that this will yield future engineers for our profession, which we desperately need.